Federal investigators are scouring the site of the plane crash that killed former Philly star Roy Halliday. The 40-year-old died yesterday in Florida when his small plane went down in the Gulf of Mexico. Today, all of Major League Baseball is mourning the loss of the beloved pitcher. Action News reporter Catherine Scott has been talking to fans all morning long, and she has the latest reaction from Citizens Bank Park. The news is still sinking in here at the ballpark. People have been stopping by to leave flowers, to leave messages. Someone left a baseball on it written, thanks for the memories, Roy. A husband, a father of two, a man whose legacy extends far beyond baseball. Throughout the night and into today, a smiling picture of Roy Halliday in his red Phillies cap glowed on a billboard outside Citizens Bank Park. 1977 to 2017, he was only 40. Lost a good guy. They don't make them like that anymore. Anytime that you hear about a young person who still has a life ahead of him, you know, dying so tragically, it touches your heart no matter what. Halliday won a Cy Young Award in each league, an eight-time All-Star who pitched a perfect game and a postseason no-hitter in the same year for the Phillies. He was an excellent pitcher. Them, them perfect game, that perfect game, and you know what he brought to the Phillies? The perfect game. Yeah, everybody remembers that. I still got the paper. Halliday developed a passion for flying. He would tweet about it often and bought his own plane last month. He died yesterday when his private plane crashed into the Gulf of Mexico. At the ballpark, fans have been stopping by to remember. 34 outlined in candles for number 34. A baseball cap, flowers, a growing memorial. Fans everywhere feel the shock and loss. He was just an amazing pitcher and uh, really appreciated everything he did for the city. A number of players have come out to share their memories of Halliday. What a great teammate he was on the field and how many people he helped off the field. At Citizens Bank Park, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News.